Andrei Tarkovsky once said that art symbolizes the meaning of our existence, that it's an act of sacrifice. So my question to you is, what are you willing to sacrifice for your art? I just got out of seeing the movie Stop Motion, which is in a limited run in theaters now. I'm just going to tell you up front, I highly recommend you go see it in the theater. It is a movie that we should be supporting. It is a movie that is also not going to be for everyone. But this is a movie that is directed by Robert Morgan, who is an animator and a director and a writer. And he is now doing his first feature film as a full live action plus stop motion movie and he has done many other things especially in animation like he did a short for the film abc's of death 2 or d is for deloused he also had help writing on this by robin king who is an actress a director and also a writer so what is stop motion about anyway this is a movie about a troubled girl who has lived a life under the thumb of her mother who is very strict she's an artist and she has made her daughter essentially be her hands to make claymation to make stop motion animation and finishing her final masterpiece before she dies because she has lost the use of her hands under some sort of illness that she befalls in the film. And while her mother has befallen the sickness, this daughter, Ella, befriends a little girl in this studio that she works in in an apartment complex. And they start creating stop motion animation together. Now, first off, I love uh, stop motion animation, claymation. I wanted to do that as a kid. You know, maybe that does sort of help make me more interested in this film because throughout the entire movie, all I kept thinking is, oh my God, I wish I could make a setup like this and make a claymation like this and do something as cool as fucking this movie. And even afterwards, I was just like, I just felt like I was booming with like creativity and just made me want to go out there and make something. That's like how powerful this movie felt for me as someone who likes to be creative. I hope and I think that that will resonate with other people and hopefully people who think they're not creative, you know? Maybe they are they just don't know it and they haven't tapped into it yet. It'd be kind of crazy to see like a boom of like stop motion animation because kind of in a way we are seeing that again, even though we've had all these other people like Lee Hardcastle and Robert Morgan and Phil Tippett with his Mad God coming out. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff that's been coming out lately that has been getting pushed again. And that's honestly kind of cool to see. But I think it's also something deeper than that. The way that, that Robert Morgan has integrated this into a live action film is extremely well crafted. It is flawless. It feels great. I love that we have old technology with new technology to be able to blend the two. It's fantastic. He makes it feel like it's a part of the world. It is unsettling. It makes you feel uncomfortable just seeing all the stuff on the screen and how meta this movie gets already, it really just adds to all of that. But let me tell you that this movie is a trip, man. Like this is a movie that I absolutely adored by the end of this. It is one of those movies that's going to ask a little bit of the viewer in the beginning of the movie to kind of pay off at the end. But personally, I think pays off multitudes of times in the movie as you watch it. It is definitely amongst the slow burn type variety of films. And I get it, you know, not everybody likes slow burns or maybe arty films like this, but there's something to be said about a director who just lets the scene breathe and just let it air itself out a little bit. Sometimes that tension is best there. And I think Morgan really knows what he's doing here. The score in this movie is fan freaking tastic. It is a very slight, subtle, artistic sort of vibe. In some of the darker moments, it hums and buzzes and plucks. In some of the lighter moments, it's very omnipresent, but it all adds to the film that I watched. This movie is dark, unique, grotesque, brutal, 
violent, thoughtful. It's wild, man. Like, I've never seen anything like this. It's hard not to just froth at the mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's true. Robert Morgan has really come out the gate swinging on this one. This is a movie that on the surface is kind of telling this story about this girl, the mom, and this daughter, but there is so much more packed into this story that you can unpack later and while you're watching it. Creatives, people who create things on a daily basis or who have done it in the past, this is definitely a movie for you. The lead played by Asling Franchosi, she is fantastic as she kind of goes from losing her mind to, you know, being oppressed by her mother and all these crazy things that happen in the movie. Her and the little girl in this movie are fantastic. Man, the two of these together really do a good job. And the story in this movie is really very unique and different, although I have heard a couple of people making some comparisons to the movie May, which is definitely not a bad thing because May is a fantastic film, but it is very different than that film. And I honestly personally think I like this one over May in particular. Like the story in this and the vibe and everything working together, the artwork with the claymation and the stop motion is so creepy and unsettling in the film by itself. And when they seamlessly blend them together, it is just another world of weird, unsettling, dark. I get like the meatiness of Cronenberg with like, you know, some of the art stylings of like maybe something like Lynch, like some of his earlier weird stuff, the artistic short films that he's done. And I also get some like airy tension and weird characters like you would get in something like a Polanski film where they're being tortured and you see the fear like struck in them all the time, which is just great. Now, I know those are some big boots to fill, but man, am I getting vibes from all of those things? It's all mixed into this sort of dark claymation that is seamlessly woven into the film with all of these fantastic shots and music and everything. And it's woven, I might add, with a lot of metaphors about being a creator and what it's like to sacrifice for your artwork and the suffering of one's art. So it's something that I think that a lot of creative people will really get into. And obviously, you know, Morgan's writing from the chest on that one because he is an artist, he isn't an animator, and he does create a lot of artwork with his physical hands and also, you know, putting it on the screen. So there's a lot of elements that are at play here. And I really think he does a fantastic job in this movie like there was moments that i was like aghast at some of the stuff that was going on in the scream that kind of reminded me of like in a way like french gore but also not because it's not like the movie's just over complicated with like gore it has its moments that really stand out and make a huge impact but a lot of the creepiness and creep factor is not only from the claymation which is super creepy but just the concept of the story alone and how it comes about and how this story unfolds in the stop motion that this girl is creating for herself and how it mirrors her personal life. So she is working on a project that just so happens to be with this little girl and things start to get kind of crazy as they sort of blend over one another. And that's when the whole movie just goes bananas. When I was done watching this film, I was very excited. And I don't know if it's because I just like that artistic style. It's not like it's trying to stick its nose up to you or anything like that. It's just very meaningful. You know, there's like some very meaningful comparisons to what it's like to suffer for your artwork. There's this like connection with your artwork that it really kind of takes a piece of you with it. And you have to put yourself into your artwork or it really just does nothing. It means nothing. And this movie really plays with that kind of thought process and that sort of ideology. Obviously, people who are into art house are gonna like this, but I don't think it's too inaccessible to just a regular crowd. It's a message that everybody can kind of sink their teeth into, and the bloody fleshiness of it is something to behold. Like, I honestly think that this is a nine out of 10. Like, that's how much I really like this movie. And man, what about that ending? Holy crap. 
That was fantastic. Like, I just want to talk about this film so much, but I can't. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite movies so far this year. And for this to come out in February, this is a punch to the fucking scene right now. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be for everybody. I say that all the time, and it feels a little redundant. But I still challenge you to watch it anyway, because I think this is a film that needs to get supported. Christina, my girlfriend, is not super into slow burns a lot and she even said that she was really kind of surprised by this film even though it wasn't for her that said there's going to be some people in the middle that might go either way for those that like everything that i've explained so far go see this in the theater immediately like i am so glad i saw this in the theater what a fucking treat to see on the big screen and to have a memory of i was practically alone there was one other person in that audience. Definitely supported. It is coming to Shutter though, so it will be on Shutter in a month or two. It says May 31st. It's coming to Shutter, but I urge you to go see it in the theater anyway. This is a very vibey, fleshy, really creative fucking film, and I absolutely loved it. So, congratulations to everyone who worked on this film. It is obvious that it is a labor of love and not just some regular churned out movie this is definitely sacrificing for your art and i have no doubts that they had in some way some sacrifices of their own to make this film or to get to this point point. and i know this is high praise coming from me guys i just gotta see it again it's masterful it's really good for me to say a nine out of ten you know obviously some of you are gonna be like i saw it i didn't think it was that much but you know we're all different. We all have different opinions. I kind of called what this movie was about with some of my buddies with Rockland Graves and Splattercast. We were talking about this film and I made a guess as to what I thought the film might be. And it almost feels like they made my film for me. That's all I'll say. Go see the fucking movie. Please support this film. And let me know what you think about this movie in the comment section down below. I'm super excited about this year. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I'll leave you with this. What are you willing to sacrifice for your art? Everything. Everything. Thanks for coming by, and as always, long live the void.